Hey, welcome back to uh, this video series where I am dismantling my Buell as part of the process to rebuild the engine, repaint all the body parts, and essentially revitalize, revive this, this old bike. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be taking off that tail section. All right, just catching everybody up to where I'm at so far. Um, I took some time to uh, start dis disconnecting a few things here and there. And I uh, got buried in the work and just, you know, got carried away and realized, oh, I told you guys that I would film this. So here we are, we're filming it. All right, so I uh, had to uh, do some wire snipping and stuff like that, no big deal. Uh, I don't have any problem navigating. It's all for the, the tail light section anyway, so it's pretty easy to, to figure that out. Um, and uh, that's future me problem. So uh, the wiring harness uh, is all disconnected and just kind of hanging there where it goes through to the uh, the main part of the, the frame. And uh, the reservoir, shock reservoir is obviously disconnected. So everything else should be in a good position to, to uh, remove from the bike. And we'll have a bear back in here in a few minutes. Um, I think what I would suggest in terms of, you know, anyone who wants to do this for themselves I would probably follow the same strat strategy in terms of removing all this. I really think there's only one way, and that would be to, to completely disconnect the entire harness from anything here so that you can remove that from the bike. Obviously, this is going to get stripped down and uh, repainted, etc. All these parts will be repainted and uh, revitalized, cleaned up, yada, yada, yada. So there's really only you know, one way to do this. Obviously, if you're, <sighs> this is not going to be a typical situation for most of y'all. Um, this is my situation because of what my plans are, you know, completely tear this bike down and rebuild it. Um, rebuild it. So, uh, this is just really kind of vlogging what, what I'm doing. Um, in terms of other key points, I may end up having to put this back on. I don't think so. I was looking at this part of the, the frame because one of the things I have to do is I have to remove that, that rear swing arm and drop the engine out, etc. And I'm looking at a couple of these points on the frame where I can tie some um, ratchet straps up to my roof hoist system um, and I'm not that'll hold uh, well it held the entire front end of this bike and the entire rear end of this bike at different points um, if you go back to my fuel pump rebuild video I'll put a link up here for you to to go and check that video out uh, the bike was held up aloft um, by the the same ratchet strap system and then the, when I rebuilt these uh, forks, same situation. I had to uh, elevate the bike and hold it up in the air to be able to do that. Oh, you know what? That's a lie. I used two ladders to do these. And I did not get any film of that. Um, so that was uh, not hard, but don't screw up. Because I'm stuck looking at that, and it's a painful reminder of a uh, of, of boo boo that, um, well, let's just say the Hulk came out, reared his ugly head, and uh, that was that was an upsetting event. I I'll see. I'm going to see if I can find a, a used part on eBay for this, um, and uh, see if I can replace that because it does it bothers me. Like, and even other people coming up to look at my bike. Um, <laughs> they notice it too. I mean, how could you not? It's just a big old giant boogered up um, piece of aluminum staring you in the face. So, all right, let me um, put the phone into uh, time lapse. And uh, when I come back, we'll have this removed and uh, close up the, uh, the video.
All right, so probably didn't need to do that on time lapse. It took me all of about three minutes. <laughs> so this is where we're at. It was just four Allen bolts. And uh, actually what's interesting is this one was not tight, nor that one. So I don't know if there's um, maybe something each of you with an XB, you might want to check that and make sure that it's still snug. Um, it was actually loose, like zero effort to loosen both of those um, bottom Allen bolts. So these were, these actually had some torque on them. So I, I don't know exactly why that was the case, but uh, you might want to check it on your end if you've got a, an XB. Um, I think, I think I'm at a good stage now to really start assessing this section and what, what my plans are here and um, how I'm gonna go about dropping that engine out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I think from here, we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The bike is really looking very different. Um, you know, it's really cool just to comment on the the Buell design element. Like it really they really do have nice lines. Just you can see where they they chose a very, very angular approach and worked with that. Just those guys, I tell you, really did something special with these bikes. They really did. I mean it's a flipping Harley engine and works so well in this in this setup it's just really a very cool cool um bike so cool company too eric buell my hero all right guys uh i think that's good enough for now until next time peace out and keep it between the ditches